Low Blood TV back again with another Low Blood TV exclusive, powered by Talker Media, of course. Today we got uh, the double back. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, um, let me speak on it a little bit. So the first time she was here, I think she was already, you know in the making of being signed or whatever. And she was like, man, I don't want to talk about it right now, bro. But as soon as I get signed, I'm a double back. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. I'm like, okay. I'm sitting at home a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I, she texts me like, bro, what's up with my double back? I told you as soon as I get signed. Woo -woo -woo. I'm like, it's good whenever you're ready. And, um, you know, she was pressing me like, bro, I got you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Come on, let's ready. Just to show how solid she is. And, um, just because she got her back, she didn't switch up. She just, you know, kept her word. And that's what I admire about this young lady. Like, um, no matter where I'm at, whenever I see her, it's love. Bro, what we doing? This, this, that. With a camera at, like, she just be so ready to support any and everything I got going on. And um, there's been times I didn't call or she didn't call late night and we just catted off on the phone just talking about life. And, um... I'm super proud of this young lady, and this another young lady um, that I've watched grow without um, selling pussy. And what I mean by that, um, and what I mean by selling pussy, I don't mean just laying on your back fucking for money. I am just mean by pussy, pussy, pussy ain't the only thing she talking about. And um, introducing the some and presenting the others. Little Kayla, what's up? Little Kayla, what's up? What's up? How's life? What, what future in them say? Uh, Life is good. Life man. is... Oh, shout out, future. I seen you at the concert. Mm -hmm. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> People looking around like, damn. I'm like, yeah, I was so proud of... Um, I seen you on big stages, but that stage, right? Mm -hmm. At that moment, I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, it makes sense now. Like, you feel me? Yeah, I was supposed to be up there, too. Because yeah, so sure. when they played y'all, me and G-Bow, like... Where the fuck we like? They getting we they supposed to be here? For like, sure, for sure. Man. Um, blessings to everything that's got going on. Let's uh, let's talk about it. Um, asylum. 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 That's like the crazy war, right? That's what asylum <laughs> is. They got your J K crazy ass. Hey, the, per the perfect match. <laughs> the perfect, the perfect match. match. So, um, how was it? Um, get, walk me through it. Like, uh, what was the process? It just felt where I needed to be. Mm -hmm. Like, I just felt it. You know, I go to church. I'm spiritual. Like, right. I just felt like this is who God want me to be with. Right, right. Um, was you like, was it a bidding war? Like, was it other labels that was trying to fuck with oh, you? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. It was like, like, they was, it was to the point I told them, I was telling them, I'm not, they kept, can I fly you here? Can I fly you there? I'm not flying nowhere else. Right, right. You want to meet me? Come to the bay. Right. They flying to the bay. Like, because first I was supposed to sign a QC. Uh, I had I me and Wayno, and then we was going back and forth. And when Glorilla got signed, P went and signed Gloss. Uh -huh. So that fucked up my deal. Okay. But I was... You know, girl power. Right, like right. We, Salute to them. You know, I had Interscope. I had uh, APG. I had, like, hella labels calling me. So I was just like, fuck it. We just, you know, we're going to get the next one. And uh, how I even met uh, them is because they called me one day. They was like, come to Simba uh, video shoot. Simba having a video shoot. Because he's on the label, too. Right, right. So when I get there, they didn't put me in the video. And, you know, Simba, like, play your shit, Kayla. Like, play your music. So I play my a couple of my records, and Dallas assistant was there, China. Right. And ever since then, like, they we just went and met, met with them in L.A. And they was like, oh, we about to go to New York to meet everybody. Do y'all right. want to come? Like, we like, hell yeah. So we go to New York, meet them, meet them in L.A. again. And after that, they was like, we knew it was real because they asked about our lawyer. Mm. It was like, uh, who's y'all lawyer and all this and all that. And Dio looked at me. He was like, he gave me the, like, yeah, okay. Um, question. Was you hesitant? With them? No. Yeah, no, no. Not you at all. It. Like, it was, it was, with everybody else though, yes. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just was telling my team, like, nigga, lock it down. Right. Had them call, let them call, but we ain't picking them up. We ain't picking up no calls no more. We ain't meeting nobody else. We just about to turn this shit up. Fuck a deal. Right. We just right. gonna turn it up and make them regret not signing me. Right. Like, that's the type of time I was on. Right. Um, 
now now that you got this situation um you know your life gonna change drastically and you're gonna have um people that's oh i need this i need that 10 people called me to borrow money since i've announced my deal <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people owe me money too and then when i ask for my money back they be like you got it yeah i hate that that's what we i'm were going just through talking right about now that, huh? yeah i fucking yeah. i hate mm -mm. that bro and that's what i'm going through right now uh, and not to make this shit about me but that stresses me the fuck out because because like i know i got it but i need my money exactly like what is like Sometimes I just be like, damn, like, I can't, you know, like if they asking me, like they must really, really like, but then sometimes I'll be like, man, my mama don't even ask me for right. money. Like my mama right. ain't asked me for a dollar. I, you know, I still bless my mama to take care of her, but my mama ain't never been like, oh, can I borrow or can I get, can I, it be people that I was broke. I wouldn't even think twice about calling them for anything. Mm. Let's talk about being broke. I remember me being broke to where my spirit was broke. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about so broke to where- It make you hate the whole world. Yeah, and it make you don't want to hustle broke. I was just saying on Twitter, <laughs> I remember one day I was broke and somebody posted loaf on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I just logged off for the day. I said, I don't even want to be on the internet no more. Hurt your feelings, huh? Yeah. I don't got no money. Yeah. Nobody want to come get you to hit. You don't got no car. Like, it, it'd be a lot but, to but do. But look where them struggles got you now, though. It, like, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's. So, what are you planning to do? Or like, are you got some business ventures? Like, of course, bro, you better not blow it, Kayla. I'm telling nah, you, I'm so on your ass, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give back. I've okay, always so, wanted yeah, to yeah. give back. You said that the so, last time. Yeah, so I was just telling you, we got it's this program that I've been wanting to start since I was in like high school, but I just never wanted to do it until I had enough money and enough just enough power mm -hmm. to do it. So it's called the Life Program, Living It From Experience. It's going to be a midterm program for young girls, and we just go. Don't you forget know, about the young men. I mean, but I'm a girl. I can't teach a man something I don't know. Right, you feel right, me? Right. But I could tell a, a young lady everything that I have been through and, you know, which way to go, which way not to go. Right. And I feel like it's going to be different coming from me versus coming from their parent because it, like, not like that, but it is little girls that really look up to me. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel me? So it would definitely be my pleasure to guide them through life. Like, right. Let's talk about your team. Um, I see you got a solid team. Solid. Um, I see they've been rocking with you for a long time. Um, do you think this is the remedy right here? Do you think like this is this, yeah, this the is best team sweet. you could have had? It's the best team I could have ever had. And it's crazy because the whole team, like I've worked with everybody on my team individually. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't been with Rich and Danielle. Then I didn't been with D.O. by myself. I didn't been with Nye by myself. Now it's like we all together. Right. Like, do, can you imagine that power? Just right. having my aunties, my uncles, brothers. Cut like. This is my team. They not gonna so play about. What me. about when y'all have a disagreement? Who oh, we've got had the last disagreements. We've we've had a big disagreement, and I, me as a woman, I had to genuinely apologize because right. I was wrong. You feel me? And I had to really apologize. Like, I, I really had to apologize, like for some stuff that I said, mm -hmm. and I had to let them know, like from this day forward, like that's why I don't say nothing when I'm mad because I I, I got too much respect for y'all to disrespect y'all. You know right, what I'm saying? So right. sometimes just let me be, let me cool off if I'm like going through some, but like I, I love them. Like everything they do for me, they is I can't even explain. Right. Um, I'll be stalking your Instagram and um I see you on Sundays every time you go live and you at church. Um what 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 does God what relationship does you and God have? I really can't even explain it. And it was crazy yeah. as I've been going to my church for six years now. Mm -hmm. But I these past two years, this is just when I'm getting my relationship with God, like praying on my own. Like really, I really know how to pray for real. I could pray this whole building down right now. Mm -hmm. Like you get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like I, I really don't know how to explain it, but I have like a real relationship with God and it it just keep me grounded. It keep me like balance, like you know what I'm saying. Like I just feel like if I don't go to church on Sunday, my life ain't gonna be right. Mm. Like yeah, because it's a lot of times we supposed to link and you like, damn, I gotta go to church or I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And um, 
even we didn't been popping it on Saturday nights and you know you oh, I gotta go home I got church in the morning mm -hmm. and that's big you know that's and I love my church because they don't judge me like they 100% support me right. like they was praying I got the deal my mm -hmm. pastor like you know what I'm saying like they they 100% support me they don't what they love about me is I I bring the youth to the church. Like yeah, you get right. what I'm saying. Like my pastor always say I didn't bring more people to the church than anybody in the church. Right, right. Like right. and people actually come back and you feel me. And that's just enough for me. God, I want people to know who God is. Like I, you, uh, it's missionary so, Baptist, uh, Christian, Church of God in Christ. But um, it'd be so good the word and stuff. I just be like. People need to hear this. Right, right. You know right, what I'm right. saying? People need to like. How are you not have going to church? Like you don't you don't know God. So like, you think if you didn't go to church, you wouldn't have a deal? Probably yeah. God That's did deep. this. I've been faithful. I've been showing up. I pay my tithes. I bring people to church. I like. He don't have no choice but to do it for me. Right. I passed my test. Mm. I stayed faithful, even when it was hard. I'm going to church. When I don't feel like it, I'm tired. I, I'm still gonna get up and go to church, cause he didn't even have to wake me up that morning. Right, right. So, what does Kayla do when Kayla's stressed? How does Kayla cope with that? I play games on my phone, color, solitary, stuff like that, cause I'll be so focused on my game, I don't think about nothing else. Do you have people you vent to? Um, yeah, some certain people for certain stuff, mm -hmm. like. If I'm going through it with the nigga, I got people I call. If I'm going business stuff, I got people I call. Nigga, you know, I, you just got to get it off your chest. <laughs> you can't let it build up. That's what I'm learning, too. I, I get everything off my chest now. Like, I don't hold nothing in. Right, right. But I definitely got, like, certain people for certain things to vent. Right. Artists. Let's name some bigger artists. The artists that you've been willing to want to work with, you've been trying to work with. Now mm -hmm. that you have this situation, do you? Um, are you gonna reach out to them? Are you gonna? Well, they come and reaching out to me. Yeah, let's talk like, about it. Like my nigga YG, like what? YG been on your line though. But I'm just sure. saying, like, it's just so shocking to me. Like I used to listen to this nigga tapes. Yeah. Like. like we on our way to parties. We playing YG. Yeah, like I never sure. thought I would be able to meet these people. Be how these people phone number. These people is calling me, checking on me, right. wanting to work with me. Like you know, like it. It just be surprising to me. Like, right, right. Um, are you working on your first album yet? It's done. It's done. Ooh, okay. I got like two done. Yeah, yeah. You got. I've some. been in the studio like crazy, but I just took a little break though because I don't want to burn myself out. Right, right. But you I'll be gotta, back tomorrow. Uh, you don't got to mention no names, but uh, do you got some nice features on your project? No. No. Mm -hmm. You just going raw, look. Me by myself. Yeah, that's the fuck I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, come on. Yeah. What can we expect from this project? Mm -hmm. That shit talking. Okay. Okay. Let me know. Same shit, just updated. Updated. Great producers. Mm hmm. Okay, let me know something. So you're going to do what? You're going to drop the project in a deluxe or the project in another project? Just the project in another project. That's what I'm talking about. San Francisco. What have San Francisco taught you? Everything that I know. Mm. <laughs> Every mm. single thing that I know. You know, Kelly, you was a little gangster. You feel yeah, me? You I, was with I, the... changed. <laughs> <laughs> I changed. You was with the full yeah. function, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to grow sometimes. Yes, man. Sometimes you got to grow up out that shit. I don't want to be looking over my shoulder, ducking yeah. you know, all my life. Yeah. Or having a fight everywhere I go. And I don't, I don't want that for me. What was your oh my God moment? Like, and what I mean by that, what was the moment you like, okay, damn, I'm here. Oh my God. Like, what was that? I ain't had that yet. You ain't had that yet? Mm -mm. Wow, for real? And you done graced a lot of stages. Like I just still feel regular. Did you get the meet future? Like Nah, I was actually sick. So I wasn't even going. Uh -huh. That's the craziest part. And um Rich was blowing me. He called me like 15 times. I so I finally woke up like the last call. I, I'm hello. He like, get up, nigga. They just called for you. Future and them. I ain't had no I, I, well, I had to run a Bay Street. First thing I seen, grab it, go. Take a shower, throw my shit on, like put some little makeup on, go. I performed and left. I was, I was didn't that feel good. Uh, the biggest crowd, you think? 
Yeah, like out of YG and Lil Duval and all them, that was the best crowd. And the energy, everything. Like when I was watching the video, they had that motherfucker lit up for me. For sure. Like it felt so good. Like damn. Definitely, definitely. Like, what could we expect from you in the next five years? Mm, major moves. Nah, go nah. keep this shit going. Nah, you gotta get major moves. <laughs> Cause nah. I don't know what to expect in the next five years. Like, oh, you don't never know how this shit go play out. Right, 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 right. I'm, I'm just, I'm just go keep going. That's all I know. I'm right. not gonna quit no more. Definitely not. Definitely. Project, what is it, level, project level? Mm -hmm. what it project level. How did you come? In, how did you meet Rich? How was that? Um, being with the shit. Okay, talk to me. Um, so. I had a fight on the bus on my way to school one day. And when I get to school, the police is already there waiting for wow. me, handcuffed me, walked me through the whole school, took me to jail. Um, so when I, not jail, I went to the station, YGC was what it was called at the time. So I go there, go through all the little stuff or whatever, paperwork. So I finally get, they always make you meet with a counselor. So when I meet with the counselor, she was just asking me a lot of questions about myself. Like, what do you like to do? But I've been a rapper, so I'm like, I like the new music and stuff. She was like, I got the perfect place for you. So I go meet them, and I, I just liked it. Like, I just clicked there. I belonged there. Right. Like, you know, everybody shooting videos, recording, performing. Like, I had my first show with Project Level. Like, that's the first time I ever performed on the, on the stage in front Project of people. Level. Yeah. But, um... I used to like catch the bus over there after the school. That's how determined I was to be there. Right. Like I'm getting on the bus to Project Level, getting on the bus from Filmo all the way to Sunnydale right. at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. Just, I just felt I needed to be there. For me personally, I ain't gonna front my shit. Um, since I seen Rich that behind you, I seen you do a whole 360. And what I mean by that, um, your stage presence. You had that backup dancers. Mm -hmm. um, everything was timed right, and I'm looking, I'm watching the growth. I'm like, damn, Kayla really doing something different. Because like, this is stuff that I always wanted to do, mm -hmm. but they just had the resources. Because mm -hmm. one of my dancers is his daughter. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it's like the whole team, we just all locked. Like, it's no outsiders really on our team. Like, unless I bring them in, and once I bring them in, they love us so much, they're part of the team now. Okay, I'm gonna do something called flowers. It's heavy on my head. I'm gonna ask you about some people I see around you, and um, I just want you to uh, give them some flowers and why you giving them the flowers. You ready? Okay. Don't be mad at me, y'all, because this is like off the top. So yeah. I'm. Okay. So um, my first person, uh, Dio. Dio, <laughs> Dio catches all the all the bullshit. <laughs> I love Dio though because even when I ain't like. He's still working. Right. Like, if I be like, I ain't feeling it right now. I don't want to rap no more. He be like, I'm still working. Right. I'm still doing this. I'm still doing this. Like, I like Dio. I love Dio. He, he, some, some one time he was like, I don't think she likes me. But I just, cause he's the main one. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it'd be like, if something going wrong, I got to tell it to D.O. Right, like, right. you got to catch this fire. You got to know how I'm feeling. But it's not necessarily, like, aimed towards you. But I just got to let you know how I'm feeling about a certain, certain situation. situation. All right, I get that. Uh, G-Val. G-Val. G-Val is, like, the reason why I'm here. Like, he the one who was, like, he, he approached me. He said, how much money you make off music? I said, money? <laughs> I'm not making no money. Right. And he like, hey, I'm... I'm doing this shit for fun. Like right. I like to rap. He helped me get the bag. He helped me see that I could get a bag out of this shit. Okay. Uh, Bear. Bear. My man, my man, <laughs> my man. No, I love my man. He definitely, he definitely, like, helped me grow into a woman. Like, well, helping me grow into a woman. Because right, I'm right. still, I don't feel like I'm fully a woman yet. I still... I just got my little kid ways. Right. And it takes a grown woman to admit that, though. So yeah. you're definitely coming. So, yeah, he's definitely helping me grow. Um, What's her name? And he treat me real good. She just introduced. She got a cast on her leg. Nye. Nye. Let's talk about I Nye. I mean, she cool when she ain't on the play plantation working for the white man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I love my cuz, though. Anything I need, hair. It, she's going to make it happen. Claws, if I need her, cuz, can you run? Buy me some shoes real quick while I'm getting dressed. Like, 
It, I love my cuz. Me and my cuz, we done been broke together, sharing right. JJ Mills every night. Like, it's deeper than the music with her. Like, right. definitely. That's hard. Mm -hmm. um, rich wife. That's the real boss. What's her name? Danielle. Danielle, yeah. Yeah, that's the real boss. Her and Camille. Okay. Them is the ones who, like, get everything done. Like, those are the ones. They go get the business done. Right, right, right. Um, they ain't going to play about it. I don't think it. I know Camille. Camille, she's not here, but Camille's, like, one of the interns. But I love her because she work hard. Like, if I call Camille right now, like, Camille, can you make me a little blood fire? That fire going to be here in 20 minutes. Okay. That's raw. That's raw. And um, I see this the, the lady she been with you. Uh, your DJ, your new DJ, DJ Cleavage, yeah. <laughs> with the titties. Yeah. yeah, she be promoting the fuck out them titties. <laughs> nah, <laughs> oh my god, that's I crazy. Love I call her myself DJ Titties. In yeah, my but head. not yeah. her name, DJ Clo Money. <laughs> okay, yeah, she be promoting the fuck out them yeah, titties. Yes, my I, I wish I was as confident as my sis <laughs> with the titties, man. Because every time I see her, they out. <laughs> she yeah, I love my sis. She definitely turned me up. Oh, perfect question. And talk to these young ladies, Kayla. Um. I tell you, a lot of ladies, they get body shamed, and they feel as Me. if they should- <laughs> They said, um, I look like a pee. <laughs> and they feel as if they should go get their body done and shit like that. And you be so original. You don't give a fuck. I see you twerking. You don't give a fuck. You be having that much confidence. Like, um, why is your confidence level that high, and why haven't you went that route? Honestly, I'm scared. I was just telling Bear this dream was two days ago. <laughs> I'm. I feel like I will go get my body done. Like I will pay the money. I will do everything, and I will get there, and I'll back out. I'll be like, never mind. I'm scared. Like I'm. I can't really take pain like that. But I had a dream. I went and got it done. Right, and uh, I they they said I was taking too long, and they didn't want to give me my money back. And uh, we acted a fool in the place. The police was looking for us. Like just all type of weird shit. And I, I don't know, like I can't. I, just like J Cole said, shit, I made it this far with what I got. So, I uh, mean, shit. Uh, do you feel as if um, a lot of celebrities leading like our young black females the wrong way with that? Hmm. I mean. I might go get my body done. I just ain't doing it right now because I'm not mentally prepared for it. But so I don't want to say that. And then I turn around to pop out with the, you right. know what I'm saying? Like you just gotta know. Kayla, you, you just gotta you know what right you're ready you for. Get a big old ass, Kayla. But I think I, it's gonna look dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't gotta worry about that right now but i'm just saying though i don't wanna because i like they bodies right you think right. well some of them they look good to me like you just gotta do what works for you mm. always like dude then don't go get your body done just to have it done i know bitches who didn't got their body done just to go work back at their job desk jobs bitches got their body done and went back to living in the projects Four and a half hours. come on man yeah. so at least, come on, if you go get your body done, like, you got to be that bitch for real. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? What's your advice to the um, to that young lady that's looking up to Kayla right now? She wants to um, drop out of school Ooh. or she wants to choose the fast life. Mm -mm. Uh, what would your advice be? Stay young for as long as you can. Like, I'm talking about don't go to the club until you're 21. Because I done been to every club. So the club's not exciting to me no more, unless I'm performing, because mm -hmm. it's all about me. But I, not, I'm not going to no club. Like, I wish I would have went to college, like took the full, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, graduated, just for the experience, HBCU, mm -hmm. step teams, cheerleading, running for president of the school. Like, mm -hmm. I wish I would have went and did that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I just, you know, coming from where I come from, that's not what we thinking about. Like, I'm thinking about the new Jordan. I'm thinking yeah. about the next party, the next fight, the next, you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't on my radar. And I wish that it was. Does, does, does Lil' Kayla have any regrets? No. No. I stand on everything I do, pretty much. That's well. When we gonna get a uh, baby Kayla or something around here? I can't, I, I feel like I'll be a bad mom. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> yeah, I feel like I'd be a bad parent. Why? I don't want to bring no kid into this world and well, I'm not. Uh, that's selfish to say that. You would be a bad parent. Because you know, I'm not going to never be with my kid. I'm on the road. I up and go. Yeah, I don't but... got time to, you feel me, sit with no baby. Like, right, okay. I don't. I'm going to keep right it real. Now. Yeah, right now. I'm only 24 years old, though. Right, yeah. But I do want hella kids. Like, I want at least five kids. Yeah. So... But not, I can't, I can't start right now, right? Because I'm gonna be sitting down for a long time, right? I just want to sit down for. So you cool. want to be the fine auntie forever? Nah, I, I want my own kids. Okay. Like, but I just can't have them right now. I'm only 24. I'm young and turned, too lit. Like, what am I gonna do with a baby? Send it with my mom? Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to actually grow my baby. I want to teach my baby. ABCs, one, two, threes, right. first steps, all that. Right. Like, I right. want to be there for all that. I when I have my baby, I don't want to have to work at all. Right. I don't want right. to have to go anywhere. I, I want to be a housewife in the house. I definitely get it. I definitely get it. So before we leave, uh, let's get some flowers, man, to some female artists, man. Who you? Who uh, you the like? Barbie. Okay, shout out to that Barbie. That bitch so fucking hard. Oh my, it's a song right now. That Dame sent with Paris and Barbie, and I'm like scared to get on it because sure. they going so fucking crazy. I'm just like, where do I come in at? Right, right. What right. am I supposed to say? Like, y'all didn't already kill the fuck out this record. Like, I love the Barbie though. Like, that's my baby right that's there. That's crazy. She said the same shit about you. Yeah, so I love that, her. That's raw. Um, anybody else? You know, I don't really fuck with too many rap bitches these days. Everyone I fucked with, they crossed me. Uh. <laughs> the Barbie a real bitch, though. She ain't. And even when she was about to cross me, she called me and asked me, could she cross me? And I said, if you getting some money, go ahead and do it. But if that bitch ain't giving you no money, don't do it. Right. She said, I ain't doing it. Right, right. Real That's, bitch. A, real That's a real thing. bitch. Like, you feel me? Um. What do you see for your city? Like, what do you think your city need as far as Me. music? Me? <laughs> to, to get over Me. the hump. I'm about to turn the city up. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. say that. Like, music, giving back, Christmas, nigga. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do it for my city. Say that. I'm going to be the one to do it. Because everybody else, they get it and they leave and they don't come back. Mm. I'm not going nowhere. Mm. People be, oh, you need to move to LA. You need to, nigga, I just moved to Vegas. I didn't last one month. <laughs> nigga, I was sitting in my house one day. I packed up all my shit and drove back to <laughs> I, 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 I need to be where I'm comfortable at. Well, I need to stick to what I know. Right, right, right. Well, man, Kayla, you know it's love, man. Um, I always appreciate you. Um, I wish the best for you. Like, I'm super excited to see what this new partnership and this new situation going to bring you. Um, let me tell you, you was raw before, way raw. You was always that bitch. And I definitely, excuse my language, but I definitely salute you, queen. And uh, it's only up, man. Only up. Young and turn. And I was on that project, so y'all go check oh, that shit out. The only feature on the project. The only feature, you yeah. And me and Goofy, and she on never the shot flute. the video. You feel me? But it's good. <laughs> on the fluke, you feel me? I was in L.A. shooting a video. Kayla pull up in Big Rose truck. You know what I'm saying? Bounce out like she was a star. <laughs> you know what I mean? Play the beat. We knocked the record out. And yeah, it was definitely a movie mm -hmm. for sure. But man, I appreciate you, sis. And um, Always. man, keep this shit lit and don't change, bro. Mm -hmm. Stay you, man. Um, That's what make me me. Yeah, you know, them, them bright lights change people. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it. Um, it's not even a money. A motherfucker can be broke, but be addicted to them lights. I get out the bright lights, I go home and right. go sit in the dark and turn. I go home. I, right. I can't be out. With, their, with all the shit they got going on. When your project dropping? Hopefully it drops in June. Okay, June, June. We just got to shoot the cover and stuff, but all the records is cleared, mixed, mastered. I just got to do my cover. Um, You got a name for it yet? Who is Lil' Kayla? Who is Lil' Kayla, okay. Who is Lil' Kayla? Hopefully we hear that in June. It's dropping. And like I said, I appreciate you, sis. Um, where could the people find you at? Uh, Instagram, the real underscore Lil' Kayla. TikTok, the real Lil Kayla. Twitter, the real Lil Kayla. YouTube, Lil Kayla. Everything, Lil Kayla. Everything, Lil Kayla. Y'all heard that? <laughs> Lil Blood TV. 
sitting down with the real little Kayla. We about to turn this shit up and um, blessings, sis. More and more blessings. Anybody you like to shout out before we leave? You. Oh, Star give me my World. flowers. Yeah. You hear that? had us yeah. screaming free Bosky. Yeah. You know who Bosky was, nigga? Yeah, yeah man. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate you always. Definitely appreciate you. Little Blood TV over and out.